Six. As a feminist, I feel like sex with a man, in some ways, as a feminist, is hard because he's entering you, you know? And so there's an invasion of space, which is why people laugh at me, but I can't have casual sex because I, it's very intimate. So homeboy is entering my space. He gets to go, mm -hmm. but my space has changed. So much of uh, my idea of feminism it's like, I have to make sure, you know, it's equal on both sides. So I feel like sex as a feminist is kind of awkward. If you're taking it from the back, for instance. Like, there's all these thoughts. Like, is this patriarchy? Why am I on all four knees? Is this me being submissive? Should I be the one giving it from the back? First of all, the sex jams I listen to, I realize they're either fuckboy jams or like, they're kind of rapey and by kind of they're very rapey mm -hmm. so you know you're there like brock off your back brock off your back i found out he's talking about coming on my back yeah. why is he coming on my back mm -hmm. why yeah. like is my vagina not a good place to come never in the history of of life do i hear women like oh you made me come too quick no i wish you did i wish it did take two minutes first of all <laughs> i'm not interested in long sex Let's talk about that. I have things to do. I have scripts to write. I have lines to learn. I have shows to put on. We don't need to be here for an hour. Do the thing. I wish I, it took five minutes. You know, half the time I'm making a list anyway. There's this thing where guys are like, oh, she wasn't wet. Like she's not dry. Did you make her wet? Did you do the things that make the pots go? Did you make the thing go? Why is it on me that I'm not turned on by you? Guys with small penises know they have small penises. I don't know why people hate that missionary. Like, it's easy, it's simple. You know, you're doing your thing, he's doing his thing. Like, why is it gonna get complicated? Why did we make sex so complicated? Let's talk about complicated sex. Why are women supposed to be the contortionists? So you over there, your leg is here, your toe is on the other side, and your morning. arm is there, and like vagina is meant to somehow be open. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. And like this is a metaphor for life because man's just be going to like school, gets a job, gets paid. You are supposed to go look for the job, be able to do five million things. Yo, this is a deep metaphor. You're supposed to have kids you're supposed to look after your kids you're supposed to cook. stay looking hot you're supposed to look fly you're supposed to stay skinny and be a contortionist and still deliver well a guy just has to do one thing and be good at it but this you see do you see why sex is complicated because yes i am double jointed check this out you know and i can't do the shit but i'm just like why why do you want me to do all these things when you are just doing nothing because technically the same thing he's doing in missionary position is the same thing he's doing in like behind on the side road to soweto all these positions but it's you who's changing you see how complicated this thing is par example road to soweto <laughs> i feel like i'm doing hot and technique you're like yeah look i'm dying i can barely talk yeah so you're like yeah and it's like soweto has a lot of potholes <laughs> Technically, this could be called road in Uganda yeah. anywhere. You're like, wah, wah, wah. man, it's just here. Look, I can do everything. I can uh. I can recite a monologue over here. It's like, why are we going to Soweto? Can we stay in Santon? What's in Soweto? Is the food better? Like, will I get shot? I don't know. Next position, mm -hmm. Turkey. What? <laughs> like, there is a, you're like, here. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm celibate. Why do y'all want us to shave? Why do y'all want us bald as a baby? I'm not a baby, I'm not five years old. Here's my thing about faking an orgasm. I feel like you're just punishing yourself, homegirl. Sister woman, stop it. Let me do. Let me tell you what it's like. My grandma, one time, I went to her house, this is when we were young, and like she made custard. The thing was terrible. And I was like, oh, grandma, I like your custard. I don't know why I said it, because I felt like I needed to give her, you know, some shout outs. Every single time we go there, there's this disgusting custard that now I must eat because grandma knows I like the custard. Say no to the custard. 
Don't be like, oh, 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 custard. Five things I'd rather do than have sex. I'd rather get a massage every day. I'd rather eat and gain no calories. I'd rather make some money. What's you the have? fourth one? No, I'd rather have sex. Okay. <laughs>